Good morning, good people. This is your Poolproof Wisdom Moment. Today, I'm going to, by discouraging you, encourage you. And I want to begin with a very basic request of you. Not for me, but for you. In fact, for all of us. Stop being so hard on yourself. Just in this moment, take a moment, pause, and marvel at your life. Look at all the things that have made you who you are. Everything you have lived with and lived through. The grief that has softened your heart. The heartache that has made you a wiser human being. All the suffering that has strengthened you over the years that you once thought was going to take you out of here, break you down, and yet still somehow helped you have a breakthrough. Find a way to understand how you've grown to have gratitude for all of these experiences, everything that has made you who you are today, through the ups, through the downs, the in-betweens. Be grateful for everything, because you know what? In doing that, you are still growing. You are still becoming the you that you are intended to be. All of this life, as we look over the length of years that we've had and those we hope to have still, is preparing us for whatever comes next in our lives. There will be moments when we think that we will not make it. We have lived through those. There will be moments when we think that we are forever broken, that we will never recover, and that life as it leans forward is only going to be filled with more of the same. There will be those periods when you just feel like throwing up your hands, saying, I'm done, walking away, and giving up on everything and anything that once brought you joy. But be proud of yourself that you have still found a way to be here, that you have found the opportunities to live into your life versus letting the moments in your life that have been challenging, painful, just tremendously difficult to take you away from moving on and going forward every day. I am so inspired by everyone who goes through something. There's a different perspective that people have once they have been through hell and then come out on the other side, bringing lessons and wisdom and understanding. And then the best part of it all is sharing it with the rest of us so that we are able to appreciate that it is not all done because we see someone else who has made it through. This is life. This is how we go forward. There is no one who has any appreciation of what it means to be fully and truly alive who will tell you that this life is an easy thing. The only thing that's easy about it is the acceptance that you will always have to work toward being happy, work toward being fulfilled, but of more importance to work toward having a purpose, understanding it, and serving it. This is our opportunity, good people. So I want to discourage you this morning from being so hard on yourself when you think that you have been wasting your time, that you haven't gotten it right. Because more than you know, you've already done the work. You've already planted the seeds. You still, however, must give yourself the chance to watch them grow and to reap the benefits of everything you've lived with and lived through so that you could get to the other side and understand inherently why what you have experienced, what you have dealt with was necessary so you can be exactly where you are. Good people, there are no coincidences. We'd like to believe that there are, but there is when you have faith, proof and evidence that everything happens for a reason, happens for a purpose. We don't necessarily understand it in the moment. We don't get it sometimes for years, but then when the moment happens, when that light bulb goes off and we know, oh my God, that's why that had to happen so that this could occur. That is your evidence, your proof that it is all purposeful. No matter when it happens, no matter what it is, if you are still here, you still have purpose to serve. And you can be proud of the fact that if you open up your mind 
to surrendering all other considerations to that simple understanding, the difference in your life will be exponentially more powerful than any hardship you have lived with and lived through. And that is your foolproof wisdom moment for today. I hope as you go forward today, you do everything you can to be okay and to help others be the same because ultimately that's what matters. We are not just here for ourselves, we're here for each other. And despite all of the evidence that we see in the world today to the contrary, that would make us often believe <laughs> hell, you know, the world has gone to hell in a handbasket. Don't you give up on doing the good work and doing your level best to be a good person. The difference makes a difference and that you can believe. Have yourself a good day, folks. See you next time.